So, um, I just want to uh, talk about um, uh, the news that I've just gotten that uh, Honorable Harry Kalava, or President Harry Kalava, the president for um, Citizen First political party, uh, the political party that was formed, you know, I'm sure those of you who have been following Harry Kalava uh, know that uh, he formed a new political party and uh, it is called the Citizen First and is the president for that party. Now, I'm ju I've just spoken to one of uh, his members uh, who was, um, you know, uh, who, who, who was able to pick the phone call when I called him. That Harry Kalaba is currently in, um, in uh, Kalulushi and uh, they went at one of the members' house. That's where they, they went to have lunch. They were having lunch. Whilst they were having lunch, the police came by the place where they were and insisted that uh, Harry Kalaba and uh, the group uh, accompanied them to the police. So, which they did. And, um, you know, from about lunch hour up to now, Harry Kalava is still at uh, the police station. Uh, the police have not communicated um, why they have, um, they have picked him. They haven't communicated why they have picked Harry Kalava and why they are still detaining him. Now, I, 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 you know, some of you remember that I sounded um, a warning much, much earlier about President Aka in the HDM. I said, President Aka in the HDM is a dictator. And some of you used to think that I'm just uh, uh, hallucinating or speaking out of bitterness. Remember, I was actually... You know, one of those people that actually campaigned for President Aka in the Ichirima during the time of uh, the elections. Because I thought that, you know, having had been in opposition for a long time and looking at what he was talking about, I felt this man has had it. This man has a change of heart. But I was dead wrong, just like many of you. This man hasn't changed in many things. In many things, President Aka Inde Ichilem hasn't changed. When you look at uh, his uh, strong desire to amass wealth, he hasn't changed. When you look at his, his uh, dictatorship tendencies, he hasn't changed. This is why they say, you can say whatever it is, but really, we speak from the heart. But Aka Inde Ichilem can say a lot of things outside, but deep down himself, deep down himself, he has not changed. He's just the man that he was during the time of privatization. He's just the man who he is in terms of having, you know, that dictatorship tendency. You can even defend him. Some of you may want to defend President Aka in the But really, look at it. I mean, all the, all the opposition, all the opposition, apart from those who are in the UPND alliance, all of them are criminals. All of them are being pursued by the police. Eh? I mean, I don't know. Some of you, you like to say, no, 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 no. Hey, offer credible, uh, uh, what is this, um, checks and balances and do it with respect. I mean, we don't insult. Since I started talking here, how have I insulted President Aka Indeichinem? If I say President Aka Indeichinem is a dictator, is that an insult? Is that an insult? If I say President Aka in the is a dictator, is that an insult? It's not an insult. And the evidence of me talking, saying Aka in the is a dictator is in the things that I see. I say, what I, uh, I, I say what I see. My experience, that's what I talk about. I speak from facts. I speak from realities. And certainly if you tell me, if you have, you know, almost 80% of the opposition being pursued by the police, being arrested by the police. I mean, what kind of government is that? Can you say this is a, 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 a democratic government? Eh? Myself, ever since Waka Inde Ichilema came into power, ever since Waka Inde Ichilema came into power, 
I've been arrested five times. The other time I couldn't, I was not uh, uh, arrested simply because Makebi uh, came in. Otherwise, basically, we are talking about six times. And each time I'm, uh, I'm arrested, I never go to court until the, an abias corpus is filed in. Now, what is that? Where, you know, members of the opposition are arbitrarily uh, picked and taken to court, or called to, or, uh, not taken to court, taken into, into custody, into police custody, and they are not taken to court. What, what government is that? Even if you want to defend, even if you want to, you want to see bitterness in me against President Aka in the Lima, but certainly tell me, what do you call a government that picks up people without, you know, proper cases? Raka in the himself used to talk about the rule of law. We are going to follow the rule of law. What, what, police, don't arrest before you investigate. But how many people, apart from, apart from opposition political party leaders, we have ordinary citizens, a number of ordinary citizens. Right now in our courts, we must have cases, maybe even 20 cases of defamation of the president. Not coming from only opposition political party leaders. Also from ordinary citizens. I know one man from Solwezi. I know that old woman from the Copper Belt. There are a number of people, ordinary citizens, who have been arrested on this so-called um, defamation of the president. But what does that, what does that symbolize? What does, what, what does that tell us about the governance of President Akainde Ichire? Even if you want to defend him, I know, yes, some of you voted for President Akainde Ichilema. I know some of you still have goodwill for President Akainde Ichilema. But tell me, with this kind of arrest, what do you call this kind of government? This is a government where you shouldn't talk. This is a government where you shouldn't talk. If you criticize, the, the, you only enjoy your freedom of expression if you are praising Akainde Ichilema. The moment you are not praising Akainde Ichilema, then it is not freedom of expression. To criticize President Akainde Ichilema, it is an insult to President Akainde Ichilema. It is defamation of the president or whatever charge they can pick up. But the essence is they have to arrest you. And the tendency is that, you know, especially for us in the opposition, they arrest us and then they start looking for a charge. They actually pick you. The police will, will be going after you doing all sorts of things like what they were doing here. But at the end of the day, when they arrest you, they pick you. They actually don't know what to charge you with. Then they start looking for what to charge you. Hari Kalab has been picked, but up to today, up to now, there is no communication as to why Hari Kalab has been picked. Eh? There is no communication. And I'm sure, even if they detain him today, you can be rest assured that Hari Kalab will not be charged until after a few days. Because they don't have cases. They just come for you first. They put you inside. Then they start looking for a charge. And most of the times, the charges that they come up, they, they, the charges that they come up with, they can't even stand in court. I can speak for myself. All the charges that they have given me, they can't stand in court. Even the recent one, where are you talking about gassing? Eh? Hey, no, Tahari, what, 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 what? Defamation of the president. Hey, 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 hey at, at Shan, seditious. What sedition, what sedition when you are doing wrong things? And I'm talking about those wrong, the wrong things. How can you say it's a sedition? How? Eh? At no harassing at Chan Chan, Chief Mukuni, you have harassed Chief Mukuni. How? How have harassed Chief, Chief Mukuni? Eh? I was narrating what happened when Haka in the Ichirimo was arrested. And it is a fact, wasn't uh, uh, Chief Mukuni? Uh, lodging at uh, one of these hotels nearby here. Isn't it true? So what harassment are you talking about? My brothers and sisters, we need to liberate this country. We need to tell Waka in the Ichilema that Waka in the Ichilema has failed. Usually, leaders who fail, leaders who fail, they resort into dictatorship so that you don't talk. This is what Waka in the Ichilema is doing. When a leader has failed to deliver, they turn into dictators to intimidate you, to trample on your rights so that you don't talk. And this is where 
we are we this is where we at but haka inde ichlema he has failed whether he can say whatever it is whether whatever you, the, he has failed i can run you through these things i've been talking about them and most of you have been following me you know he can boast about freedom uh, what at a free education but that free education has brought more problems than solutions it has brought down the quality of education and we saw the results we saw the results this year look at the results what was the percentages of the pass rate eh? so how can you be celebrating to say free education free education there is no free education there it is there's a disaster it is a disaster you can talk about no cdf whatever 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 who has gotten anything out of cdf who has gotten anything out of cdf young people are getting excited no register cooperatives what 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 who has gotten anything out of that or out of the, that cdf out of that empowerment nothing eh no in and dinamuli me eh i know how to do these things eh what 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 when i come you will buy fertilizer at 250 kwacha eh hey, when i come i'll be giving you more bags of uh, fertilizer what has happened fertilizer is up and it's not only expensive fertilizer is is costing more than 1200 and apart from that there is no fertilizer even it's difficult to find fertilizer there is no fertilizer hmm? apart from being expensive fertilizer na ishupa fe nokushupa it's difficult to find fertilizer and then talk about the people the fisip instead of receiving six bags now people are being made to share one bag one bag they are sharing among themselves six people they are sharing one bag we are in problems we are seriously in problems look at the business community me i'm a businessman Hey, everyone is a Zambian. Everyone must benefit. Everyone must be given a uh, business. Hey, you'll be given, you young people, hey, you'll be given businesses. You'll be given licenses in, 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 in uh, timber. You'll be given licenses in mining. And you'll be given money, whatever. Where are all those things? Where are all those things? Even my young, my young people who were enjoying at Black Mountain, they are all taken out. They are not there. Instead, now they are inside Duma cells, I think. Because now they are committing crimes, so they are finding themselves Duma cells. Our cells are full of our young people because they don't have anything to do. Eh? So where are the scores? Cost of living, look at cost of living. Look at the price of milli meal. Look at the price of cooking oil, sugar. So where? Because these are things that... You know, any president who, is, who, who wants to claim that he has delivered, these are the things that he, he should be talking about to say, no, look, I came. Milimi was at 130. Now Milimi is at 100 kwacha. But now where is Milimi? Milimi is now 180. Eh? Cooking oil. Where is cooking oil? Where is fuel? So, you can hate me all you want. You can say whatever you want, but really, I am walking through facts. I am walking through facts. And if really these people have delivered, let them show what they have delivered on. President Akainde Ichinema has failed and he is turning into a dictator. He doesn't want us to talk about it. But some of us, like particularly myself, even you who are telling me, a lot of you are saying, hey, turn down, turn down. What am I turning down? What am I turning down? I'm just saying facts. So what am I turning down? What am I turning down on? Because I'm just saying facts as they are. Mm -hmm. You can tell a person to turn down when you are being uh, uh, insulting. But I'm not insulting. I'm walking through facts. And that is my job as opposition. I need to talk about these things. I need to talk about the failures of Aka in the HLM. And surely, I mean, it's written all over that this man has failed. This is why you are even now having these clashes that has happened in, uh, in, in Katete. It is very unfortunate that people have descended on our police officers. That is a frustration. It is a frustration arising from the difficulties that they are going through in, in their lives. Trust me, I'm sorry to tell you this. 
But that, what has happened in Katete, it is a manifestation of the frustration that is in people. People are upset because of the so many wrong things that are going on. And now, they have unleashed that hunger on innocent police officers. I must tell you that, I mean, I condemn the beating up of those police officers. I condemn the beating up of police officers because those police officers, even them, they're just innocent. You know, they're innocent. They're also suffering. But unfortunately, they became the, represent, the representation of government or president Haka Inde Ichirema. And that's why they beat them. Because to, to, to the people, they, they are government. They are defending the government. It's like they are defending the wrong things that this government is doing. And they unleashed their hunger on them. Which is quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate that those police officers, they are innocent. Those police officers are innocent. And I want to urge people that please, please, don't, don't release your hunger on government workers. Don't release your, your, your hunger on government workers, on civil servants. Because this kind, these kind of things are common when people are disgruntled. When people are disgruntled, when people are upset, these things are common. But I want to urge you people, please, don't, you know, take your hunger on, on, on civil servants. Please don't release your hunger on civil servants. They are only working. And believe you me, those are your brothers and sisters. Those are also suffering like you. Those police officers, all those police officers who were beaten, they are just suffering. So please, please, spare the police officers, spare government workers. I know a lot of people are agitated, are grieved by the lies that President Akainde Ichilema gave us. I know, I know you are upset, but please, 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 don't, you know, exert your hunger on innocent people. Please, what you should do, if there is any hunger that you need to bring out, is to talk and ask Waka in the Ichirema to call for early elections. What we need is an early election so that Waka in the Ichirema can go back to his business and we can have people that can lead this country. Look, look at the, how things have become so bad within one year. Now think of you know, the next uh, four years. It's too far to Kafwa. We can't continue Waka in the Ichirema. We have to call for early elections. And like himself said it when he was in opposition, it's not a crime to call for early elections. It's not a crime to call for early elections. It's part of our democracy. And let us demand our right to say, ah, can you go? We want somebody else to come in. Let us call for early elections because really, there is nothing that is happening here. Musumba wa wali hapa. Palifu ya uchushi, weka, weka. Chapwa. Eh? Mwia ku parliament, look at the conduct of that speaker. Eh? Mwia ku judiciary, ama judges, they are being, they are being victimized. They are being harassed. Eh? Ama ministers, even ama ministers, dawa yunfo noku yunfo atima ministers. Ama ministers, wamuli wa haka inde ichirema, venda kwa tininko kwesha alokuwa. They move like wet chickens, with their feathers down. Shocked. Because really, this government is not about even ministers. It's about President Haka Inde Ichirima alone. But you can't have a country where we have one person, one powerful person, doing everything and subjecting everybody in, in, to suffering. We need to call for early elections. Let Haka Inde Ichirima go. Let somebody else come in. In nicely. Not, this should not be in violence. Like the violence that we have seen where police officers are being beaten. Uh-uh. I'm not a violent person. Even if he, what is his name? Even if I were to meet him, I would not uh, unleash violence on him. Violence is not the way. Beating up of uh, civil servants, please, my brothers and sisters, that we should not do. Let us not beat up innocent people. Uh -uh. Let us not beat up innocent people. Let us, also not, let us also not destroy property. 
we need the property government property i mean cost money so let us not destroy property we can speak loudly to make our kind of each them here we can do things but uh, peacefully not engaging in violence i am insisting please let us not engage in violence let us use our democratic rights that is by speaking right now we have social media we have tiktok we have um, uh, what is this uh, instagram twitter facebook let us express ourselves let us overwhelm our social media calling for president aka ndhlema to call for any elections president aka ndhlema cannot hold us to ransom we are the ones that put him there even if i didn't vote for him but we are the ones that put aka ndhlema there we put him there we put him there and he's supposed to rule according to what we want. So if we the people demand that uh uh Baka in the step aside, he should listen. And that's all I'm that's what I'm asking. This I'm asking. This I am asking, I am earnestly asking to say we need to call for eight elections. We need to tell Baka in the to call for eight elections. But as we do this, I am strongly insisting that we don't do it in uh, with violence. Let us not use violence, let us not a, 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 um, you know uh, uh, what is the word uh, vandalize public property let us not do that let us not fight amongst ourselves let us do this properly let us do this properly let us make history that Zambians do not accept uh, politicians who lie get into power and let, and let them go scot free but let us also make sure that as we do this, we do it peacefully so that we can show the world that we are civilized people. People who engage in violence, it's not being civilized. Be civilized. Let us talk about this. Let us call for President, um, for President uh, Haka in the HMA to call for, for early, early elections. Nava filwa, nava filwa. Eh? Hari Kalava, wanshi muaikata, release Hari Kalava. Release him. That is his job. He just formed a political party. He needs to go around the country to sell his political party. Let people know about his political party. You cannot start arresting him. I mean, just uh, at dawn of uh, uh, his, uh, the formation of his political party. You can't do that. Let the man go around. Let him campaign. I'll keep on updating you what is happening uh, right, um, with Harry Kalaba. But it is really... Uh, quite unfortunate that Vaaka in the the man that you many of you thought was coming to fix things has made things far much worse than where the president Ed Galungu left. If the person that you thought that is going to liberate us has brought dictatorship where a lot of you can't talk. You are scared to talk. Those of us who are talking, we are almost like saving jail. Sometimes, you know, I feel like I, I belong more cells than outside. Like I just come home for holiday. Eh? Because pano no feba kuikata, pano no feba kuikata. And for what? This is dictatorship, Bani. We can't allow dictatorship. Vaka inde ichirema must go. Through democratic means, peacefully, without violence, without destroying property. We are a peaceful country. We are a democratic country. Let us say no to the dictatorship of Vaka inde ichirema. I hope Bahari Kalaba will not spend the night Muma sales. Please release Va Ari Kalaba. Dictatorship Yenui Tapalioko Ide Mituala. Your dictatorship will not take you anywhere. You are just making things for worse for yourselves. Release Hari Kalaba to a papa. Thank you very much. I'll keep you posted. Uh, most likely I'll come back at twenty hours.